done the sample preparation. Uh, again, just to remind you of how we got to this point. We obtained a plus 3,000 gram sample of plus 4 material. We did not dry it first, nor weigh it first, other than to make sure that we had 3,000 grams. Our first step was to wash it over a number 4 sieve, and then dry it, and then we put it into a pan sufficient to uh, hold the entire sample in basically a single layer of material, soaked it in water for a period of 24 hours, plus or minus 4 hours. We've done the soaking, <clears throat> and I would point out, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of times material that will break down will go ahead and disintegrate in the soaking period, and as you can see, we went from a clear water into a murky water. Our next step, and to point out, I have a box 8 sieve sitting down here in the sink. I'm not just dumping the material out. Material that was not washed out in the original wash broke down and has disintegrated in the soap. So I'm just rinsing that out. Our next process would be to spread this sample into, and you can break it down into increments if you want, just a quick demonstration. We would then look for any suspect particles, does not mean you have to pick up every particle, and sometimes I don't find one uh, that is uh, what we would consider a friable particle. But we would look through these, and if we see something suspicious, simply pick it up and again, rub it between your thumb and forefinger, not using any instruments, to try to see if it will go ahead and break down. And a lot of times I do not find, but you can see in my hand here, I'm still getting, so I have not rinsed this over the eight screen, so I am getting some material that is breaking down. A lot of times with a <clears throat> relatively good quality source, I do not actually find a clay like a private particle, a particle that I can go ahead and break down. Set this back in the sink here. Final rinse, and again, this is a very quick pick, uh, just for demonstration purposes. If you were doing this for real, you would spend a little more time uh, probably analyzing and looking for any soft particles. My next step will be to rinse this again back off on a number eight sieve, and then we'll put it back on the stove for drying so we can do our final calculation. And now we're ready to do our calculations. And we'll do this as we weigh this. Again, tear scale pan. Simply take the plus eight material that's in a dried condition now. Establish the weight, 3,102 grams, 3,31.02.0 grams.